Creating assemblies with lots of moving parts using only mates can be repetitive and time consuming. There are some great tools inside of SOLIDWORKS to help expedite the process, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. When I was constructing this coin bridge, I was torn on the best technique to assemble it, so I'm going to take you through two methods and lay out the pros and cons of each. I'm going to use the linear pattern tool and the mirror components tool in one method, and for the second, use the copy components with mates and the mirror tool. With the linear component pattern tool, you can create a desired number of components at a desired distance in two directions. This is perfect for my coin bridge, as I have to stack the coins vertically and then offset them horizontally. I'm first going to take some measurements and record them on my notepad for reference later. I want the diameter of the coins, which is 0.75 inches, and the thickness of the coins, which is 0.06 inches. I will use these numbers to space the coins in the pattern. The first thing I like to do when I use the linear pattern tool is select my components to pattern. Doing this gives me a preview as I'm defining the parameters, which is a good visual check to ensure I'm getting the results I want. The first direction of my linear pattern tool is going to be the vertical direction. I will define it by selecting the vertical edge of the table. I could also use the face of the coin or table, but I personally like to choose edges. The coins are 0.06 inches thick, so I will set the spacing to that so the coins will rest directly on top of each other. I want 8 layers of coins, so I will set the number of instances to 8. The second direction is going to be the horizontal along the Z axis, and I will choose the edge of the box to define the direction. I want the coins to be offset 1 radius, so I'll set my spacing to half the diameter and I only need to offset the coins once, so a total number of two instances is needed. As you can see in the preview, I have too many coins, but using the instances to skip, I can ignore all the pattern components I do not want. Selecting every second instance will let me easily construct my coin tower. The linear component pattern tool is great, because it is quick to generate and quick to resolve and rebuild, but it has some drawbacks. I had to do some preliminary measuring to get the numbers I need, and inputting those numbers directly into the property manager did not build any intelligence into my design. If I were to change the size of the coin, the components would begin to overlap. However, I could use equations and global variables to build that intelligence into my design by linking the instance spacing to the radius and thickness of the coins. This would allow me to quickly change from a penny bridge to a quarter, loony, or toony bridge. I also have no flexibility of moving coins independently from the structure. If I move one, they all move. These parts have a degree of freedom allowing them to rotate. As you can see, a rotation of one coin rotates them all. This linked motion is only in the graphics area and does not translate into a motion simulation. Another method for generating this coin bridge would be to mate every coin independently. You can do this efficiently using the copy with mates command. This command will look at the mates attached to a component and ask for a reference space for each mate to apply to the copy. This is a manual process and will take some time because there has to be a click for every mate. The coin has two mates and the preview gets located as I select a reference space for the mates. Continuing this process will allow me to quickly generate a coin bridge with every coin having its own mates. This method will allow me to move any component independently of the rest by changing the mate or utilizing any degrees of freedom, like the rotation of this coin. These mates will allow the structure to be maintained if I change the coin size because the mates are referencing the face and the faces will just move as the coins change size. The main drawbacks of this technique is having to click for every mate you create and the fact that all the mates will be added to the rebuild time. Both techniques are compatible with the mirror tool, so you only have to generate half of a symmetrical component pattern. The mirror tool will also mirror any motion in the graphics area. If I rotate one coin, its counterpart in the mirror will also rotate. In summary, both the linear pattern tool and copy components with mates command will make adding more instances of components simpler than the insert component tool. 
they both have their pros and cons, so it's up to you to decide which tool is best to use based on the design intent, size of the assembly, graphically displayed motion, and ease of use. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something useful today.